Since the detention of Peter Obi in the United Kingdom and the discovery that he was impersonated in, in UK, hmm, trust Obi didn't, Obi didn't have dug the secrets of his said impersonator and the face of his impersonator has been revealed. You guys will not believe it. Allegedly, the APC paid this man some, you know, some huge amount of money to impersonate Peter Obi. Before we delve right into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do well to subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you can be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Help us grow this channel by giving this video a massive thumbs up so that it gets recommended to other YouTube viewers all around the world as well. Lastly, please leave your comments in the comment section. Without further ado, let's delve right into the details of today's news. You have all been placed on a database. Renu Mokri reacts as netizens release face of Peter Obi's alleged impersonator. Former presidential aide Renu Mokri has reacted to an alleged picture of a man paid to impersonate the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi in the United Kingdom. Newsroom Nigeria understands that a Twitter user identified simply as Decker had shared a picture of a man who she claimed was paid a sum of 500 million naira by the All Progressive Congress through one Joe Eloka, a Lagos businessman, to impersonate the Labour Party flag bearer. The netizen alleged that immigration officers both in the UK and Nigeria were compromised. Reacting to the information shared by the Twitter user, Renu Mokri wondered if the obedience movement were aware that it is a crime to make false accusations of receiving bribes against British civil servants. He claimed that all those who retweeted might have been placed on a database. The media personality demanded the evidence that indeed the All Progressive Congress had bribed the immigration officer to retain Obi. He wrote, and I quote, do these obedient know that it is a crime to make false allegations of receiving bribes against British civil servants and that everybody who retweeted these has likely been put on a database? What is wrong with these people? Where is the evidence for these serious allegations that the All Progressive Congress bribed British immigration officer at Etro? And known associates of Peter Obi are retweeting this. Hmm. You all, hmm. it, I have missed reaction to this because it's one thing to allege that uh, APC bribed immigration officers in Nigeria. We know how things work in work in Nigeria. We know that you can bribe, you can bribe your way through anything in Nigeria. Once you have the money, my God. You can bribe them and they will just let they will let you have a free pass without even checking your bag at the airport. We know that that is Nigeria. Yes, that is my country for you. But it's another thing to now say that APC also bribed, you know, civil servants at the airport, at Itro Airport in the UK. How does that work? How is that possible? How is that possible? I'm not saying that these people do not collect bribe. I'm not saying that they are free of sin but it's just kind of twisted for me it's very twisted and so very unlikely you know for the apc to <laughs> must have bribed those people at the itro hotel uh a pardon itro airport to detain peter obi i don't that's so unlikely i don't think that is possible at all i don't think that is possible but like i said yesterday in a video hmm, it is still this Nigerian immigration who, that, that gave out this passport to this man that called himself Peter Obi. It is still the Nigerian immigration. How do you issue a false name to somebody when you know that it's like, didn't, they, didn't the person tender a birth certificate or something that has the name Peter Obi also writ written on it? And 
also let's also take into cognizance that you know people share i've seen coincidences where people share both first name and last name the same thing it's just probably the third name that is very different i have seen such a situation and my thought is that couldn't this be one of those coincidences where you know the person also has a first name and then the same peter and op the two names together couldn't couldn't this be one of those situations uh what do you all think but at the same time i think you usually there's usually three names on the passport so even if they share first two names, the third name must be different. And for them to have detained Peter Obi at the airport, it means that there's something wrong. Something, something is actually wrong somewhere. Something is actually wrong. And we all know that, you know, for the past couple of months, if not a year now, Peter Obi has been very popular. He is very, he is still very popular within social media space, within you know, the use, obedience, even the political space in, in Nigeria. So probably that made him a target for people, you know, you know, all these imposters. And I've heard of stories where, you know, they will get, the, there's this number on the passports that can be replicated and then they can use it to travel. And then you just get to the airport and they will deny you saying that uh, you are an imposter. Somebody has already used it. So could this be one of those situations? You know Nigeria, Nigerians, huh? Nigerians, how far? We got the opposite. We are not criminals, sure, but <laughs> Nigerians. Let me have your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think happened exactly in this case? Because I have dissected, I've given like different scenarios where, you know, this could be possible and... <laughs> none of them make sense to me anyway but if it makes sense to you let me know in the comment section you guys know i don't know much i'm just keeping it real subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed thank you very much for always listening and watching i will see you in my next video guys bye for now